Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about leaderboards and how you can create a leaderboard for your experience. They're very easy to set up, so let's go ahead and dive right in by creating a new experience. Now I'm just going to style my character scene really quick. We'll go into the characters, I'll type in something like trophy, see what pops up, and here we have a nice trophy image. Now at the top I'm just going to type in leaderboards. And then we're going to go and add our leaderboard block. So we're going to go into add new. And then on the left hand side, we have this section called leaderboard. There are two blocks here, decrement leaderboard and increment leaderboard. So let's add both of them. There's increment back in the add new menu in the leaderboard section decrement. There we go. So let's also add two buttons here. One is going to be for increment, AKA add points and decrement aka subtract points. Let's link the buttons up. Increment will go to the increment block and decrement will go to the decrement block. So let's explore these blocks really quick. If we click on each of these blocks you'll notice they're pretty similar and they're actually exactly the same in terms of what's included in the right hand menu. They need a leaderboard ID and a value to increment by, and a transition. Now how are we going to get this leaderboard ID? Where does that come from? Well, we're going to go into a new tab, and then we're going to go to leaderboards.metaverseapp.io. Again, that's leaderboards.metaverseapp.io. And I'll include a link of this page in the YouTube description below. So once we go to the leaderboard creation page, we need to add three items, our name, a URL of an image, and a description. So I'm just gonna type in the name tutorial. I'm gonna add a URL of an image. Now where do we get this? We're gonna need to do some sort of search. So I'm just gonna go into Google, I'll type in leaderboard PNG, see what pops up. This image looks pretty good. And to get the URL of this image, we're just gonna right click and then copy image address. So that's copied to the clipboard. We'll go back into this page and I'll just paste that URL in there. The last thing we need is a short description. This is for the leaderboards tutorial. And once we have all three pieces of information in here, we're going to click on create. Now you'll notice that something popped up here at the bottom, and this includes some very important information. You need to store this in a safe place because once you leave this page, this information will no longer be accessible. So what I like to do is just copy this information and then in our storyboard, we'll add a new character scene I'll drag that directly underneath, and then I'll paste all of this information in a character scene. Now, this is not the most secure way to store this information. It just allows you to have a place where this information is stored just in case you leave this page. Back in the leaderboards creation area, let's take a look at this information. So it gives us two key pieces of information. The first is this API key, and the second is this website. Now, what is this API key? Well, let's go ahead and copy it. And then in our experience, you'll notice that we need a leaderboard ID. And that's exactly what that API key is. So we can paste the API key in the leaderboard ID section. There we go. It's paste into both of them. And back in the creation page, let's look at the second piece of information. Now, this is a website that is given to us that will be displaying the leaderboard. So if we open this in a new tab, we'll take a look and you can see that tutorial leaderboard has appeared at the top. We have the logo image and we have our short description. Now we don't have any values in this leaderboard yet, but as we increment or decrement, we will see these values on our leaderboard. So how are we going to display this in our experience? Well, let's take a look at what we know. In our creation page, we have this website and we know that we have a web view scene that displays web pages. So why don't we use the web view scene? We'll add this to our storyboard and then we'll just 
include the website in the website URL section. So inside the creation page we'll copy this and then in the website URL section we will paste it. Now you'll see a preview loading in the web view scene and if it's successful you'll see the leaderboard page. So here's our leaderboard. There are no scores on it so you know it is displaying correctly. Now let's link these blocks to that web view scene. There we go. Both blocks are linked and we'll link our web view scene back to our main page. And that's all it really takes to create a leaderboard. So let's go over what we did. We added an increment and decrement leaderboard block to our storyboard. We created a leaderboard via leaderboards.metaverseapp.io and then we displayed the leaderboard in a web view scene. Now I'm just going to quickly add end experience and end the experience here, but that's all it took to create a leaderboard. Let's go ahead and publish this experience. We'll call this tutorial leaderboards. I'll click publish. I will zoom in so that you can scan this QR code for yourself. I recommend you add points to the leaderboard, you subtract points from the leaderboard, and you'll be able to see everybody else that has done the same. Now this will be empty, so maybe you're the first one, but if not, it's pretty cool to check out all the other people that are viewing these tutorials. I hope you learned a lot about leaderboards in this video, and we will see you next time.